toilet break, your meal break, or whatsoever. How are you guys doing? Are you guys enjoying TGCC thus far? Oh yeah! I was worried like nobody's gonna respond to me, but our crowd is like scattered everywhere else. Uh, can I just invite everyone to sit front, like sit sit closer? We don't bite. I mean, like our guest is from Jap Japan, but she absolutely don't bite. She's very very nice, and I certainly don't bite. So can we have everyone from the back to sit a little bit forward so you can enjoy the talk session better? All right. So as you guys are moving, I just want to let you guys know what's gonna happen on the stage right now, where we have our special guest. I believe most of you here. Anyone here collect figures? Yes. Ah, we have figure fans here. That's great. Uh huh. So today we are very delighted to have our special guest, M.A. Mutt. If you have followed her, she actually has about 250,000 subscribers on her YouTube. She is a figure brush painting channel, uh, channel where she has this lots of fans and she has been sharing a lot of tips and her amazing videos about how she paints these figures. So she actually got interested in figure painting and she has been drawing and does calligraphy since she's young. And now she's working as a figure painter, which takes orders and commissions and also a YouTuber. And her distinctive style is that she's able to bridge 2D and 3D that makes 3D figures look exactly like a 2D art. So ladies and gentlemen, if you're ready, let's use your biggest, loud, oh man, your loudest cheer and your applause to welcome our special guest. Let's have Emmy Ma! Okay, so you want to say hello to our fans here? Oh. Hey, what did you say? Aishatsu? Aishatsu? Hello everyone, I'm M.A. Man from Japan. Let's have fun today. Hi everyone, I'm M.A. Man from Japan. Let's have fun today. Alright, so can I have uh, M.A. Man to introduce yourself? Yes, I'm M.A. Man from Japan. Let's have fun today. Alright, so can I have uh, M.A. Man to have a seat over here? Yes. Okay, so as mentioned in this session today, I have a professional interpreter who is Aoi to help me to interpret from Japanese to English and also vice versa. Thank you, Aoi. So of course, our talk session today is going to be very special because we will be hearing from Emmy Man herself uh, with a list of questions. We'll ask a lot of questions on behalf of you, but if you realize that I didn't ask the questions that you want to ask, please feel free to raise your hands when we open the session to the floor to ask questions. Okay, so let's break the ice a little bit perhaps. So, um, Maman, is this your first time to Malaysia? So this is my first time in Malaysia and even leaving Japan or going overseas this is only my second time and I really like go overseas so I'm having a lot of fun. Wow! So yes Malaysians, we need to show her more passion <laughs> to welcome her. Second time coming to Malaysia. So I think um, every one of us here knows that you love figure painting. Maybe you can share with us a little bit more uh, on your journey. Like when have you started figure painting? えっと、フィギュアを塗り始めたきっかけっていうのは、えっと、東京だと秋葉原っていうところが結構そのアニメ好きとかがたくさんいるところなんですけど、そこをこう普通に趣味で散歩しているときにフィギュアにこうリペイ
例えば今流れてるこのゾロとかはそんなたくさん時間かかってなくってえっ、ー、とうん多分2日ぐらいかな So, for example, the figure you can see here, the figure of Zoro from One Piece, this, even this one, it didn't really take me too long.、Uh, I think it was around two days. Two days? Two days? <laughs> two days? Wow! So, I, ca I can't even complete a, 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 like a 2D art in two days. <laughs> wow! <laughs> <笑>いやでも私も結構物によっては1週間とか2週間とかかけて作るものもあります。でも今あそこのキノコニオステイさんに展示してあるあのジョジョのフィギュアとかはそれぐらいかかってます。The one that's、uh, being displayed at the キノコニオ booth right over there is one of the few ones. The ジョジョ one is the one that took me one week. Wow, that's fantastic still because I can tell like if she needs to use one week, I think probably for a lot of us probably months, right? <laughs> <笑>でもなんか私は最初は全然できなくってあの1個目のフィギュアはもう全然ダメだったんですよだからコツをつかんでようやくこうなったっていう感じです So even for me when I first started even the first figure I painted I couldn't like do it at all So it's more like once you get used to it you'll definitely be able to do it Wow so how long have it, have it took for you to master it? フィギュアのこのリペイントを始めたのは、えー、と今34年ぐらいなんですけど私、えー、と小中学校ぐらいから実はあの絵画の油絵と書道をやってたんですけどそのスキルが結構生かされてるかなっていう感じですね。So actually for figure painting I've only been doing it for like three to four years but actually when I was in uh, uh, like、uh, elementary school and middle school I did、uh, calligraphy and Oil painting. So I think those skills from that transfer that helped me when I started figure painting. Oh, すごいです It's like three to four years, and you have all the results that you see here. I think it,、um, it, it really helps. It's a little bit like cosplayers, lah. Like、uh, cosplayers started. Some of them started from illustrator. Some of them they are very good in hand crafting. So it becomes very handy when it comes to make props and like makeup skills and like making clothes. So it's pretty similar, I would say. 確かにコスプレと似てますよね。なんかあのもともとアニメとか漫画とか素敵な作品があって、そこにリスペクトの気持ちとか大好きなものを自分もこう表現したいっていうところでフィギュアだったりコスプレだったりすごい似てると思います。Yeah, I think that's one thing that's really similar with cosplay is how you know we have that love for the work that we want and we want to like show our love for it and we want to show it in our own way. Yes, that is very true. So I'm very curious what. Inspires you on this painting style because we all know that you are very good at bridging between 2D and 3D. Like, I think it's amazing, like making a 3D figure looking like a 2D painting. So, what inspires you to make it this way? えっと、私が始めた頃ってこの 2D ペイントってまだまだ全然主流じゃなくてでそれで私は衝撃を受けたのであの自分の中でこうもっともっといい表現ができないかっていうので追求していてやり始めたんですけどあのうまくなるコツっていうのはやっぱり元の漫画とかアニメとかをたくさん見て吸収して出力するっていう。So when I first started, this,、uh, 2D painting style is not like, uh, widespread yet. So, the main feeling was that when I saw the 2D painting on a camera and I felt like I want to do it as well, and at the same time, I also felt like what kind of ways can I do to make it even better? What kind of like, research I can do to make it like, even、uh, you know, go up to the highest level? So, of course, mainly on, on how to you know, draw this kind of style is like you have to read the original manga, original work, and really like, absorb everything, and then you like, output it into the figure. Wow, so basically, it's all about homework. It's the same like cosplay. Like, like the same character, you will see different kinds of people. They cosplay it with a different way of、uh, expressing of the character. Like, maybe some of them they focus more on makeup, some of them they focus more on prop making. Maybe it's the detail in the clothing, some they focus more on the 
material of the clothes and things like that so i think it's really really inspiring that like you know um no matter it's through figure or through cosplay everybody has a different way of expressing it it's through research でも、so this is my uh, you know first time in an event like this in Malaysia and of course Japan also has like a similar like uh, you know anime event there but when compared uh, to the cosplays over there I can when I when I see the cosplays in Malaysia I can really feel like all the love for the work outpouring because each of you guys have your own way of you know displaying your love for the character how you want to show the character to everyone and you know even though I don't cosplay when I see you guys do that I really I, I'm really it really makes me have fun as well that's such a very high comment that we hear from you. Thank you so much. Arigatou on behalf of all the cosplayers out there. So, um, which figurine? I mean, like actually, how many years have you been drawing figurine? So, this paint is a figure paint is a figure paint. Three, for the three. figure painting, three to four years. Three to four years. So, um, in among these years, which figure was the most difficult one that you have drawn? And tell us a little bit more on like why is it difficult? Like what challenges do you have? で、so there's not really like a figure that was difficult for me but rather than like how to paint the figure or anything the most the most difficult part for me is that you know how uh, the characters they have manga they have anime and they are like adapted right and how the character is drawn in the manga is can be slightly different from how it's shown in the anime so the most difficult part for me is to choose which one to apply to the figure and show it in the painting style Oh yes, I can totally relate to that as a cosplayer because like when we decide the costume, even from the game or from the, the movie adaptation, everything is different. And some, some is only some small details, but a lot of them are actually like completely different costume. Like even the hairstyle is different, the accessories are different. So yeah, that's actually quite challenging as well because we want to be as accurate as we want. So I think figure painting is also similar like that. I think especially with the color, right? Yeah, uh, actually, Sachiko, I didn't. Uh, when I talked about this figure painting, I didn't feel like you would be able to like share the same feelings. And so I am like really happy. And you know, uh, I can see how much effort you put into your cosplay and how you're very pretty. So I'm really happy to be able to share my feelings with you. <laughs> wow! Thank you so much. It's an honor because, like, I I think. It's not just me. I think a lot of us among the crowd also can relate that because like all of us, we share the love for the character. We also share um, the, the, the love for the beauty of art. That's why I think it's not just me, but every one of us here can also feel what you feel. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm really happy to see everyone here and I can, I'm really happy that everyone can share the same things as I am and I think after this I'm also still going to you know, look around with all the cosplays and have fun as well. I, I, will I will help them to say thank you to you because a lot of them are probably very shy. So yeah, yay! <laughs>
<laughs> so now I'm very curious before I ask this question to Emmy Vaughn, I want to ask any one of you here are learning figure painting? Self-learning or interested to learn? Nobody? <laughs> Maybe it's a difficult one, but okay, I, I do want to help some of you who may be too shy to say that you want to learn, but any tips for like newbies, like new people, uh, maybe they want to try someday, you know? Very hard to say. What if one day you buy the figure, ah, yeah, the color not right. <laughs> you want to repaint it? Uh, if you feel like repaint it. So any tips to share with this new newbies who want to try? えっと、フィギュアを作ってみたいっていう思う方は、あの、日頃その so actually even looking at my YouTube comments, I can see a lot of people, they tell me that they also want to try and they want to start painting it, but you know, it's kind of hard to start doing it, but I think if I were to give one advice to people who think, the, who starts thinking about trying figure painting, is to just, you know, focus all your uh, feelings towards the character and your love towards the work, and instead of, you know, just trying to make it perfect, just try to finish one uh, painting uh, one figure at a time and that's the way that you can slowly improve Ah, I think this is a very good advice because just last week I had an interview with another cosplay guest and we also asked similar questions like this like uh, you know like new cosplayers like if they want to try cosplay like what should they do so it's very similar advice you know it's really about loving the character like um, based on your feelings really based on your feelings and from there, once you step out of your first step, you will eventually get better and better because when you start it, then eventually some other people who share the same love for that character will come to you. Then they will tell you feedbacks. So these are all very natural feedbacks and you will eventually improve from there. I think this is really, really good one. I am actually really amazed at how things can be so similar. Like even though we do completely different things, but I can totally relate to that. Yeah, this is actually this is when I uh, talked about this. This is the first time I realized that it's quite similar. I guess it's because you know uh, the original base, you know, cosplayer and figure painting, both of them based on the anime and manga works, right? Yes, that is very true. But then it's like the process, it's still very similar. So that's why it's like, wow, I feel like different universe, but we somehow connected in between. <laughs> yes, so uh, since I think like, most of us here have watched your video, any one of you here watch her video, please raise your hands. Yeah, loyal fans. Wow, see, everybody watch your video. We have all the way from there and at the back as well, Captain America. <laughs> Oh, they watch your video. So yeah, I think uh, I think this is something that a lot of them would like to ask because I have this on my uh, flipboard. So do you have any tips when you draw Ichiban Kuji? And the figure is Yeah. <laughs> so for me basically I don't really like put too much like feeling into it because you know if I put too much feeling and I don't get what I want I can I, I become like very sad. So I put feeling into it by not putting feeling into it. So basically you put feelings into it but you don't take it personally. Ah, and actually that's a skill. It's so difficult because most of the time when you pour in so much feeling into it and it becomes so attached, like it becomes so personal. <laughs> yeah, so um, we, we do have like, uh, what do we say that? Um, I actually want to ask about this. When you paint, since you only spend like what, two days or at most one week, do you actually like live properly? 
Like, do you eat properly, <laughs> drink properly, and sleep properly? Or are you the type that just jump into work and just work all the way? ま、ま、so as you know, I'm a you know I work as a YouTuber and I do all that painting and sometimes I also receive requests from companies to do a repainting of their figures. So generally, most of the time, every one single day will just end. This is just me painting. But I also I also go to, go to Akiba a lot and I go like on walks because uh, you know I just like the place as a place itself and also I also like doing the uh, gacha gacha thing. Ah. Okay, so she does have a life. <laughs> Just want to confirm because you know sometimes it's a misconception. Like a lot of people think like, wow, she finished the work so fast. Because okay, in Malaysia it's very funny. Like in Malaysia, I think um, it's uh, people who work in art, they tend to not sleep. This is a culture in Malaysia. <laughs> you guys can relate, right? Any graphic designers here? Illustrators? You guys don't sleep one, right? <laughs> See, like. These, these tomodachis, they don't sleep. <laughs> yeah, I, I know how you guys feel because sometimes when I get in the zone, I just, you know, don't even sleep. So, yeah, it's actually not very good for your health. <laughs> So guys, don't, okay? We already heard from uh, M.A. Man to say, to tell you that, no, it's bad for your health, you know? So don't do that anymore. <laughs> okay, so the next question, since you mentioned that uh, you have to refer to like manga and anime for the original work to make sure the figure painting is accurate, do you actually have a personal favorite like when it comes to manga or anime? Or maybe a specific type of genre? えっと、私の場合は、あの、ま、いくつかあるんですけど、ま、普通に徐々だったり、ま、鬼滅だったり、ワンピースだったり、あの、結構好きで、ま、あの、フィギュアも塗ることが多いんですけど、あとは、ま
メとか以外だったら私うーんとなんか飲み,飲み歩きとか結構好きなんです食べ歩きとかだから、えっと、昨日行ってきたんですけどなんだっけ赤いちょがあるマレーシアのなんか。えどこだろうなんか似たようなところが東京にもあってあのちょっとちっちゃいお酒飲む料理店とかあの出店みたいなそういうところでこう飲んだりとか<笑> So actually like、uh, you know walking around and eating food like going to like stalls and you know drinking and stuff So I think yesterday I went to a similar place in Malaysia where there's a similar place in Japan with like red lanterns and stuff so I really like to you know walk around and eat Oh, so any favorite food? What's your favorite food? Ramen, yakiniku sushi. <gasps> yakiniku sushi. Yeah, I can, I can, I can, I can understand that. <laughs> so, but, but you're so slim. How? You like to eat, you like to drink, but you're so slim. That's unfair. Because <laughs> I don't eat all the time. <laughs> you don't eat all the time. Okay, that, that's the secret basically. She d o n t eat when she draws. So, okay, la, fair enough. You have q u o t a to spare. <laughs> All right. So, I think we have, we have because it's TAGCC, I think there's a, a lot of highlight being placed on toys and collectibles. So, I think a lot of fans here would be actually very curious about、uh, where, where is the best place for toy hunting? Like, if they ever go to Japan, where should they go for toy hunting? やっぱり東京の秋葉原に行けばもう大体何でも揃うんじゃないかなっていうところとあの中古でねあの売ってたりもするのであとは池袋とかですかねあとはやっぱり日本の人もネットで買う人が今は多いかなと思います。うん So,、uh, as you all know, if you go to, I think if you go to Akihabara, you'll generally find anything you want to find, and you can even find like secondhand stuff. And other than Akihabara, it will probably be like、uh, Ikebukuro. But、uh, recently, people in Japan have also started doing more online shopping as well. Oh, so online shopping.、Hmm, okay, online shopping. I, I have a new question. So, about online shopping. So, it, we, Malaysians get very skeptical when it comes to online shopping because you can easily get scammed. So, do you have any like. Recommendation like for you personally because in Japan it's a norm to do online shopping, maybe on figures. But like as a consumer, how do you determine do I buy from this website or things like that? Maybe you can share with our fellow Malaysians here. もしかしたら少ないかもしれないです、日本で買うときって、そういう、あのもしかしたらそういう、<笑>なので、画像で判断するの難しいですよね、なんかあの、そうじゃない画像使われてることがあると思うので、私はちょっと、ちょっと分かんないっていう感じです、<笑>なんか、I think that's a very difficult question for me because, you know, even if、uh, I do a lot of online shopping in Japan, I think there's not quite a lot of like, you know, scammers or anything like that. b u t sometimes you can't just judge by the image because sometimes they can just, you know, grab wherever the image is from and just put it there. So I actually don't know how to answer that question. <laughs> so, you know, the, the, the key lesson is buy from Japan. <laughs> yeah, just see any shops in Malaysia,、uh, think twice. <laughs> buy from Japan is the easiest. All right. So,、um, I think we, we are, we, I already asked whatever that's on the sheet, but I do want to open to the floor. Like, any questions from the floor that you guys would like to actually ask、uh, Emmy Man personally? Like, maybe it's something about figure painting, maybe it's about toy hunting, toys, I don't know. Like, anything that you would like to ask? Don't worry, we have Aoi to help us to interpret. No one? Really? No, what? <laughs> Everybody is so shy. Yes, 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 I have someone. Okay. Wait a minute, I will come to you. Where's the stamp? Okay, so, hey, you are a bit far away. Choco, choco.、Um, at the moment, so. What's your favorite food in Malaysia so far? Favorite food in Malaysia so far? Thank you. 
私食べ,も食べ物が好きだから食べることが好きだから今回もめちゃくちゃ楽しみにしてきたんですけどまだたくさんは食べられてないんですよだから逆になんかこれは食べとけみたいなやつがあれば教えてほしいです。So I really like, like, you know, I really like eating in general. So, uh, but I just came to Malaysia, so I haven't really like, had the opportunity to eat many things. So, on the other hand, I'd like to ask you do you have any recommendations for me to eat? Oh, you definitely must try nasi lemak. So, nasi lemak is the signature dish in Malaysia. So, nasi lemak is made of、uh, coconut milk and rice, and you must try the Malaysian ones. If you go to Singapore, you go to anywhere else that they say they sell better nasi lemak, that's fake, that's a scam. <laughs> I'll definitely eat it before I go home. <laughs> okay, wow, I, I feel proud as a Malaysian that I managed to preach this. Thank you for asking that. All right, so I guess、um, I have a lot of questions that I really want to ask you or to recommend you, you know, in terms of Malaysian food, but I think it's time for us to wrap up this session. So let's wrap up this by taking a group photo with everyone, shall we? Okay, so、uh, can I invite everybody to like, you know, stand up and come forward so that I can have、uh, MA Man to join us at the group? Okay, do we have the official photographer? Okay. ちょっと待ってください。All right, so, みなさまこっちです。Okay. One, two, three. Okay, one more. One, two, three. Okay, one more photo over there, the green phone. One, two, three. And one more. <laughs> okay, one, two, three. Okay, thank you, everyone. And let's give a big round of applause and cheer to thank you, Emmy Mark, for joining us here today. Arigato gozaimasu. And by the way, guys, tomorrow she will be coming back with us on the stage to demonstrate. Actually, how to do the figure painting. So remember to come back tomorrow to join her session. Yes. <laughs> And if you have been her big fan, she also has her signing session right now.、Uh, from now until 4 30, sorry, from 4 30 to 5. Okay, from 4 30 to 5 at Kinokuniya store. So、uh, Kinokuniya is just from here, go straight and turn right. You will find Kinokuniya. She will be stationing right there. She's only going to be there for a very short period of time. So please catch her when she's still there for her signing session. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right, so wow, that's a very fun session that we have with MA Man. So, yes, you can always follow her on her YouTube channel. And for friends who have not followed her yet, yes, I'm trying to promote her YouTube channel because she's such a nice person and she's really, really talented. Wow, three to four years learning figure painting and she has that result. That's amazing. So, ladies and gentlemen,、uh, we will enter into a very short break and later on we are going to have something really, really fun. So, 5 p.m., we have our table flip challenge of TAGCC 2022. So, if you have not registered yourself, quickly, quickly go and register over there. This table flip challenge is open for everyone. So, good, kawan, kawan, pun boleh participate. Ah, ni table flip challenge. Kalau anda you rasa frustrated kan? Ah, you rasa itu nasi lemak kan? Don't know where else you eat. It's not Malaysian enough. Ah, flip table later. Okay, make sure you flip it because it's going to be very fun. We have some、uh, very interesting small prizes to give you up, but the main thing is really about letting you to、uh, leave out your frustration. Yes, you must see Kat Sini, ah. I not think of you, Henshin, then you table flip tau. <laughs> so, yeah, so remember, guys, so please register yourself for the table flip challenge. It's open to everybody.、Uh, the counter is over there. 
All right, you will see me stationed at right here, and we will start the table flip challenge between 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. And by the way, if you are the contestant of the Kamen Rider Henshin competition just now, the prize ceremony will be at 6 p.m. together with the table flip challenge as well. So I will see you guys later. I definitely look forward to see who's gonna table flip. Uh, we, got, we have lots of different categories, the one who flip the furthest, the one who shout the loudest and things like that. So yeah, <laughs> I want to see a lot of fun today. So I will see you guys at 5 p.m. later. Okay, okay. Balik rumah. Now it's 4.35 p.m. Figures are inside the box. Looking Makima. They can go. Thank you.
There's a lot of chainsaw men cosplays. Eh? A lot. Especially Maki Ma. that I'm most impressed with today is Spider-Man Spider-Woman the grey Spider-Woman Is it East Wing or West Wing? Shit. Yeah, 
Caramba! What is congregating here? Lighting is good, but it's warm. The only bad thing about this place. Sweat, you know. to actually live in that house. Don't know where this goes. <laughs> so the best cosplay is the spider woman in grey only. Oh my god. It's not so warm anymore, it's getting a bit airy, windy. Oh. Somebody brought a ball. Ah, the testosterone level is quite high here. Ah, see inside there, there are two, sometimes there are too many people walking around. Here at least the sun, the light, the light is very good 
outside there is a bit too dark. Now it's windy. Ah, too bad I did not see the cat go from uh, C2H No, no, no C2H Possibly Carnival Ninja Cat Girl Ears Who likes v 2 Brew There are some nooks and crannies around there. Wanna check it out? Mm. What is this area? It's kind of windy. Cosplay signing area. That's all, the only place I see her in. What's this place? Maybe there's a nice view. Nice to explore the some nooks and crannies of this what uh, what's this place called Tropicana Gardens Mall. Yeah? me about the temperature but it's kind of warm not really my legs are aching it's time to go Buys drinks from Tea Life. Oh, Tea Alive. Tea Alive. Sign that says Tropicana. There's a convention center, must be somewhere around 
this year. I don't think I have a chance to access this place here. Full body suit Evangelion. is going somewhere where does it go I don't like going upstairs I don't want to injure my leg two or three days ago I swim swam for 30 minutes and my leg was like throbbing Please to smoke them. There are too many younglings around here.
actually fucked. It's about oh, 5 p.m. The boss, uh, do you know where's the motorcycle parking? Motorcycle parking? Parking? Uh, uh, motorcycle? Uh, uh, oh. Thank you. Somewhere around here. I hope. Sushi Jiro. I think it will be very expensive. And where is this escalator? MPH what the oh. oh this boost huh? A lot of people are lining up for something to drink. Is it really that good? Huh? Oh. Must be this one here. Being like this, do I? I hope I am in the correct place. Is it B2? I don't remember a barber shop. Chiropractor, so I don't remember. Oh shit, I don't think I'm in the right place. Hey, hold on. section of this place on the belly of Sunway sorry not Sunway Tropicana Garden oh shit oh, that's a D1 parking oh, there's a west walk then I'm fucked okay this place does not really I don't remember this place at all.
I get a feeling I'm in deep shit. The place I went to, I came from, is very, very bright. You can see outside. Now I can't see shit. The question that I have is, is there a way to What's that? Tell Mana to motorcycle parking. Motorcycle parking. Oh, thank you. Oh, fuck me. Boss ah, motorcycle parking kat mana ah? Motorcycle parking. Deh. Motorcycle ah. Thank you. Motorcycle parking. You sure or not? Still a way to go. Yes, there is. Balik rumah. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why. I have more fun at the. What you call it? Cosplay Carnival. Oh, well. oh, there's a Tokong there, a Chinese thingy for prosperity and loads of money. Oh. Five, uh, what time is it? Ten minutes past five. Nothing is stolen. Why was it in such an awkward, uh, awkward pose? Sayonara, bye bye.